Hello everyone and welcome. So today we're going to be discussing one of my favorite pieces from Balenciaga. Now the name is a mouthful, so I'm only going to say it once and then I'm never mentioning it again. But the name of this bag is the Balenciaga Touch Quilted Puffy Clutch in size large. I told you it's a mouthful. If you're interested to learn more, stay tuned. So before we get started, I just wanted to say I hope you all really enjoyed my Chicago travel vlog. It was by far our longest video yet, and I want to give a shout out to Zane. He did such a wonderful job editing and picking the music, and he just made that video flawless. And I, I couldn't do what I do on this channel without him. He is truly the man behind the curtain, and uh, he creates beautiful videos. So I want to give him a shout out. If you haven't already watched the Chicago vlog, the link will be down below. And if you're new around here, Hello, my name is Caleb, and on this channel you're going to find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxing videos, daily vlogs, travel vlogs, you name it. Anything that has to do with luxury or lifestyle, I'm your guy. So consider subscribing, so hit the subscribe button down below, hit the icon with the bell so that way you're notified when I post new content. I usually post luxury content on Wednesdays and daily or fun vlogs on Sundays. And if you haven't already, follow me over on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer, and the same name over on TikTok. All right, well now that we have all the formalities out of the way, let's get into the uh, bag review. So I'm not saying the name again, but this bag from Balenciaga is one of my absolute favorites. And I know I sound like a broken record, but I fell in love with this bag when I saw it. It wasn't even on my radar until we walked into Saks Fifth Avenue. In our Saks in Indianapolis, the Balenciaga section is like right at the front door when you're coming off from the, the parking lot side. There it was at the top shelf, again, illuminated by a halo of LED light, and it was love at first sight. If you follow me over on Instagram, you'll know I was absolutely obsessed with this bag. This is all I talked about all winter long. Well. December. This was December's big obsession. Gosh, December. That's already been half a year ago. That is absolutely insane. Um, but I fell in love with this bag and I had recently made quite a few purchases at that point. And uh, Zane was kind of like, you know, maybe let's pump the brakes for a little bit. You know, we can get it in a little bit. Don't, don't rush into it. <sighs> I walked away, sadly. And um, I was... I mean, obsession is putting it mildly. I was in my stories. I, I did a huge video on it, my Instagram. I've even posted lots of photos with it. Love this bag. Anyway, so about a month or two go by, and I want to say I got this in like January, maybe. I, I remember there's still snow on the ground, but um, maybe December or January. Who knows? I, I can't remember. But um, my Teresa ended up having this bag for about $400 less than the American retail price. Now the retail price for this full price was 1390 USD before tax. And I think my Teresa had it for like $860 or something after some promo code or whatever. So of course I purchased it. And I don't even think a full week went by and it arrived. And disappointed would be an understatement. Now I don't blame my Teresa for this at all. I, I think their packaging was beautifully done. I think it's the way the bag is constructed, which we'll get into that here in a minute. But um, the puffiness of it was absolutely gone. It looked like someone sat on it or threw it under a forklift before loading it up. And my biggest gripe about this bag, that even though they use like a hardier calfskin leather, the way that these extreme points on the corners here come out, it, it's, it's going to scrape. Now when the one from my Teresa arrived, the corners were like totally gray. Like the, the, the black leather had worn off. It was like the undercoating. It, it wasn't a good look. I was like, you know what? I, I saved a lot of money on it. Maybe I should be happy with it. So I let it sit out on my dining table here where we're sitting for about a week and just looked at it. I saw it when I came home. I, I would come out and look at it throughout the day and it just wasn't, I wasn't in love, you guys. And um, when it comes to luxury shopping and luxury goods, when you know, you know, and I, I wasn't feeling it. Needless to say, by the end of that week, I think that they discontinued the entire collection. The camera bag sold bags, both sizes of the clutches. So all the department stores had them on major markdown. I think I ended up buying this one from Saks Fifth Avenue and after tax and shipping, it might've come out to like 950, which I mean, still a hefty amount, but much better over the $1,400 original price point. So I, I ordered the one from Saks and I told myself, listen, I'm going to pick the better of the two and just stick with whichever one is better. So needless to say, the one from Saks Fifth Avenue arrived and th that's the one I have here. And it was so much better. The corners were still warm. And I, I, I will be honest, I think that it's the way that it even slides into the dust bag. It's going to wear your corners. So I always make sure that my um, when I slide it in, I'm kind of holding the dust bag open over it. And then I don't draw steering it close at all. I just fold it under so that way it's, it's nice and protected. And I don't have as much wear on my corners as, as I might have if I was just kind of throwing it in the dust bag. That was my violent dust bag motion there. Now, a few variations. So I noticed that the Balenciaga version, which is what, um, that's gonna sound crazy, but I'll, I'll explain here in a second. Now I know Saks Fifth Avenue and, and uh, My Teresa carried the same 
version. Now, if you purchased it at Nordstrom or Neiman Marcus, one or the other, there is actually a full slip pocket in the back added on, which the way it's constructed, I think that just kind of makes it even bulkier. I mean, it's a bulky bag to begin with, but I, I think that that would just add too much to have yet another layer of bulk here and have it come to a sharp stop. I, I wasn't a fan of that version. And I think also Nordstrom maybe had a version, can't even see me, it's so big, had a version where there was like a D-ring and a wrist strap attachment here, not just for the small one, for the large one. And I'm like, why would you wanna dangle such a huge bag from a tiny wrist strap? That, that didn't make any sense to me either. And there was another variation where you got both the pocket and the wrist strap. I didn't want all that. So I just went with the classic Saks Fifth Avenue planer version, I guess you could say that. Anyway, I absolutely love this bag. Now it came in two sizes and a myriad of colors. So for the large size, you could get the black with the blackout hardware, which is what I have here. There was also a gorgeous dark red, almost oxblood color with aged brass hardware. I kind of want to add that one to my collection eventually. And then there was also, I've only seen a photo of it once, but a beige with light with aged brass. Now with the smaller sizes, there was like a forest green, there was white, cream, a bubblegum pink, which is absolutely gorgeous. I, I want to add that to my collection. And um, black with the ruthenium hardware, also the ox blood color. I love this bag and I, and I also don't love this bag. The My main gripes about this bag are the leather choice. Now it's done in a hardy calf skin. I like it, but um, after I purchased my YSL Sade clutch, link down below, that lambskin is divine. It's like butter. It's gorgeous. This almost has a faux vegan leather feel to it, which at this price point, I wish they'd picked a, a nicer leather. Also, of course, the corners are a major gripe. That's why I really don't carry this one as much as I probably should. Um, I love the bag. I've, I've only carried it. I don't think I've touched it yet since winter. I know, I'm awful. Now on the inside of the bag, the inside of the flap is also lined in a calfskin leather. And then you'll have, there's just a plain zipper pocket back here and a cotton twill lining. Now there are gussets on the side of the bag, which are just open with a single snap. So if you're carrying a whole lot more, you've got room. I never carry it that way. So I kind of like that gusseted tucked in look. So I keep mine snapped. Also, the way that the gusset is constructed, this zipper pocket here can wear out the inside of the gusset if it scrapes against the zipper pull. So a little trick I've learned is I keep my zipper open about two inches here on the inside of the bag, especially when storing it. And that way you don't have to worry about it scraping or scratching the inside of the leather. Just a tip or a trick I, I have for you. Now the inside of this bag, as you can tell, this bag is just large, it's unruly, and I can't really do one of my close-up shots like I normally do with the overview. So I already have it stuffed with everything I'm gonna be carrying for work tomorrow. I don't think I'll carry it all week, but for work tomorrow at least. So in here, let's let's see. I have, of course, my Shiseido blotting papers, especially in the summertime. I get a little shiny, so these really come in handy. If, if you haven't tried them yet, try them out. Now, I have my old Bose headphones. These are the Bose Sport, and these are great for working out, and I love that they are, you know, they go around the back of the head in such a way that like an ear pod's gonna fall out if you're jogging, these stay in pretty well. Now, for daily use, I, I use these every single day when I work out, on my walks to and from the office. They've, they've seen their mileage, as you can tell, they're, they're falling apart. So I've been looking at both the Apple EarPods, AirPods, whatever, however you wanna call them, and the Bang & Olufsen EarPods. Now, the ones, the reason I like the B&O style is because they actually come in fun colors and beautiful leather carrying cases. I've been looking at, they're still making it the light pink and I think the green was really pretty too. So if, if anyone has those or the AirPods, tell me which one you like more and I, I need to purchase those soon because these have seen better days. Uh, let's see, so I still have my new product key holder, the, oop, there we go, the six key holder, and of course my big chunky car key. And I, I really like this key holder so far. Um, now that I don't have the wrap around it, you can see it's the, the brass hardware with the Safiano lining made in Italy and then the nylon on the exterior. Again, I don't know why it took me so long to get into the Prada nylon, but here I am and I'm loving it. So we have that. What else do we have? We have my Balenciaga Companion, Companion, however you say it, wallet. Now, I, I know I've shown this before, but I absolutely love when wallets just open up flat and all your cards are right there. There's also a coin and bill slot here on the other side with a zipper and tons of storage in here. And for those of you, with the max size iPhones, I can tell you from experience that you can zip it in there 
and then just run with this wallet. Now, this one's hard to find. It's long discontinued, of course, but if you're on Fashion File, the way that you can tell that it's this style of wallet as opposed to just like your regular gusseted accordion wallet that zips, the brass stud and detailing are in the corners of the zipper. Now, if it's the other style, it would be the other way. You'd see it like this, but it would open this way as opposed to opening this way. Sounds strange, but if you know, you know, and I highly recommend this wallet. So typically I'd also have my cell phone in there. I'm recording on it and I didn't grab my dummy tester phone. But um, as you can see, it's just a big black hole. Now at this price point, I think I would like to have seen like a leather lining. Um, it's not a very heavy bag to begin with, so I know it could have supported a leather lining or even like a fun color especially in a black bag, it's just kind of like a black hole. Yeah, it's a very simple bag. Once you get past all the insane quilting and puffiness, there's just a simple Balenciaga stamp here. And of course I got the blackout hardware on the plaque there. But needless to say, you could get a lot more in there than what I'm carrying today. I'm just, I've been using a smaller bag, so I don't really have a whole lot on me that I need right now. So let's see. So dimension wise, the large size, it's 13 and a half inches long in length, 10 inches tall, and about three inches in depth for counting the flap, of course, here, I think. Now, there were, like I said, two sizes, so let's see what the smaller one is. So that one, not a whole lot smaller, only four inches smaller. So it's about nine and a half inches in length, six and a half inches tall, and three inches deep. So again, I think that'd be a very reasonable sized bag, probably even easier to carry. This one can be kind of a pain, um, given that it's so large and has the delicate corners. Anyway, you guys, so that is my review on the Balenciaga. I'm gonna give you a treat and say it a second time. Balenciaga Touch Quilted Puffy Clutch in Size Large. Okay, I'm never saying that name again. I like this bag. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this bag, and I, I think that it's a great addition to any collection, especially if you want to play into that puffer oversized trend that's been going around lately. At the price point, though, I think that there are bags that do it a little bit better than this one. Um, for instance, my Saint Laurent that I, I reviewed just a couple weeks ago was only $300 more, and it feels like a much more luxurious bag. It's lambskin, it's leather lined, the quilting is a little bit nicer. It's overall a nicer bag for just a little bit more. Now that this bag is discontinued though, you can find the smaller sizes for around 800 and they're all in fashion file. I'll put links down below. And then the larger size, they have currently marked down to only 850, that's 36% off. Um, as you know, fashion file only goes down to like 30% and then um, pretty much puts it at the outlet. So I think that's pretty much as low as that one's gonna go, 850. Overall, from what I can tell, the corners look pretty good. Uh, the quilting still looks pretty good. It's a little bit flatter than mine. Yeah, like I said, I'll put links down below. If you have any questions on this bag let me know down in the comments I'll be more than happy to answer them and thank you guys for tuning in and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one have a great week